Music makes me feel older now, too. Like, I don't, I don't know. How old are you? 24. 24. Music is perfect for you right now. Pop music comes out. It's talking about what's happening in your life, you know? It's not talking about what's happening in my life at all anymore, right? <laughs> Heartbreaks, I don't give a shit, you know? What's up in the club? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been to a club in 10 years, you guys. You see me in a club at this point in my life, some shit has gone wrong. <laughs> Like, what is that creepy dude doing in the corner right there? <laughs> I'm starting to understand country music, you guys. That was a foreign language when I was younger. But I'm listening to it now, and it's making sense. Because that guy got a divorce, and his wife took his pickup truck and his dog. That's some grown man shit right there. <laughs> I want some music that talks about what's happening in my life, you know? What's up in the club? I'm not sure, because I got a kid up in the crib. <laughs> Where my girls at? I, I don't know where your girls are at. Where is my 401k at? That's what I want to know. Because I just filed a 1040 easy, so life is rough. That's what I'm saying. I think music is the last place in our society where straight men are still oppressed. Think about it, though, guys. Straight guys, right? We have three choices for music, right? Rock, rap, or country. If you like anything else, you're gay. <laughs> Dude, if I said to you, hey, buddy, have you heard that new Taylor Swift album? You'd be like, I think this guy wants to suck my dick. <laughs> Why? I can't listen to a little Justin Bieber without people thinking I want to gurgle on their balls. It doesn't make any sense. It's not fair. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Straight white guys have it worse than everybody else because a white guy sings it, I'm yours. People are like, that guy's definitely on the bottom. All right? <laughs> Hispanic guy sings it, tonight I'm yours. Chicks are like, see, poppy, you are mine. <laughs> Right? White guy sings it, you know you want it. Everyone's like, that guy's a rapey douche. <laughs> Black guy sings it, let me lick you up and down. Chicks are like, that is our wedding song right there. <laughs> I am dancing with daddy to that one. So yeah, I'm just a white guy, I guess. <laughs> just a plain faced white guy, you know? That's, the, that's my problem. You guys are looking at me like, I think I've seen this guy in something. No, you didn't. <laughs> I didn't even buy these clothes. Just a box arrived at my door. I said, you're a white dude. Put this stuff on. You need a nice button-up shirt and some Vans and a goofy smile when you say hello to everybody. That's where I'm at. I got white privilege. That's what my black friend told me. Corey, you got white privilege. I'm not saying he's wrong, but I think we need to establish some levels to this white privilege. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I don't think I got that top-tier gold star daddy gave me a small million-dollar loan for my business white privilege. I got that you're going to grow up in a trailer park and not know who your father is white privilege, you know? I'm just saying that my black friend can't get a taxi, and I can, but I still can't pay for that shit, all right? So we end up walking home together, and, and now we're best friends. Yes. <laughs> Heal the world, right? Racism and poverty, that's how we're gonna do it, you guys.